Hello, my name is Joshua Akimbola Murakinyo, and this message is to commemorate the International Day for Elimination of Sexual Violence in Conflict. I'd like to speak to my brothers on this critical matter. The issue of rape has become pervasive. We've always felt the pains of our girls, sisters and mothers, even our grandmothers from afar. Many of us feel our moral compass, spiritual ethos, as well as our well thought out legal institutions of law and order will repel this menace. Rarao, no. Sordid tales recently shows an erosion of everything sane and normal. The alarming rate at which despicable acts reaches us show that it is closer home and the center of our institutions can no longer hold. Guess what? The father can no longer keep his heinous desires from his daughter. The uncle jettisons the role to guide and guard to rape and threats. The husband or boyfriend suddenly realizes that to hold, love and cherish is too demanding. So he inflicts pain and sometimes death. The boss finds it difficult to mentor. He prefers to wield his mahood as instrument to instill fear and mental torture. The guardian of spiritual and moral awakening forget his compass, leaves tears, distrust, and mental abuse in its trail. Obviously, something is wrong with our institutions. Nowhere is safe for the girl, not the house, the street, not the school, not the club, not even the place of prayer and worship. The boy has grown to be a terror. It shouldn't be. No excuse is tenable to rape, none whatsoever. We need to hold this downward spiral. Let's teach our boys to love. Let's teach the boy child to see the girl as a human being who needs nurturing to fulfill potential. Let's teach our boys value for life. Let's tell our boys that drug abuse encourages rape. Drug deadens conscience and weakens moral resolve to do the right Theme. We must all join hands to make this work. As a father of two girls and two sisters, I need a world that protect and not abuse or rape our girls. We are sorry for not letting our girls grow without being molested, assaulted and harassed. Sorry for the mental torture. Sorry for the unwarranted and unsolicited pain. Sorry for the detour of unwanted diseases rape and death. Let me leave you with this, brothers. Self-control is a great asset. Together, we can eliminate sexual violence against women.